Nerdlink, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so the promo tour after the Montro Jazz Festival uh, went to Spain and I ended in the south of Spain and I happened to find one clip <laughs> from that and here it is. Nerdlings! This is uh, my last show of the tour. I am in uh, Granada, Spain at uh, La Traviesa. It's a terrace restaurant that's like at the top of a mountain overlooking the city of um, Sobrelena. That's like right by, it's on the coast. This, this view is spectacular, but I'm uh, doing a show with my dear friend Mario, who's the lead singer and guitar player for and um, they invited me to do the show with them and I'm so excited because I have, I have I saw Mario when I was here in January on tour with um, uh, Eastern Standard Time but I hadn't seen him like seen him seen him in like 11 years so this is just really great being able to reunite with my old friend and just jam and have a great time so I'm about to go on stage and my song is up right now I will see y'all After I returned to the States, I did another feature at Wednesday Versus at the Bohemian Cabin. There's a magic formula to getting a tour lined up, but I will say you're going to have to do the work yourself. Um, if you don't have a booking agent, if you're not signed to um, a major like management company or a record label, you're basically going to have to prove to people that there's something unique enough about what you're doing that they're going to be interested in opening the email or returning the phone call. And the only way that can happen, in my opinion, um, I shouldn't say the only way, but one of the major ways that those types of connections can happen is through a relationship that you build over time. So radio DJs, internet radio DJs, um, concert promoters, venues, all of these different people who are connected to um, potential opportunities to share your music and to put together a tour or things like that, it's going to take time. And you're going to have to get on Twitter, you're going to have to get on Facebook, you're going to have to get on YouTube and do your research and really take time to Find people who you think will be interested in your music. Um, ask them if they would mind getting an email or receiving some files by email. Don't be afraid to ask. You're never going to know unless you ask. And the trap I see a lot of artists falling into is they expect people to kind of come to them. Or they expect things to kind of fall into their lap as far as like really key contacts with um, a booking agents and things like that. A lot of that information really is online already, but how do you get them to respond to the email through a relationship? 
and it, it doesn't happen overnight. Sometimes you could be very fortunate and have a contact, a, a dear friend that's connected to one of these types of people and maybe an opportunity could come that way. But again, you have to ask. You won't know unless you ask. So um, get on Google, Google all of these different types of resources. Um, and don't be afraid to spend money. It's not gonna be free. <laughs> They are uh, services that can help you kind of um, connect the dots and find who key people are. Taxi, Sonic Bids, Reverb Nation, all of these online resources have ways to kind of find out contacts and competitions that can help you get booked for tours or get booked for a certain venue, etc. So, you just gotta do it! <laughs> and you gotta stay positive. You gotta stay positive. Nothing comes for free. You're gonna have to work for it. And what I mean by nothing comes for free, you're gonna have to work for it, is you really have to believe that it's gonna happen and you have to put all of your energy into making it happen and not stopping until it happens.